What's up you guys? Welcome to Tools in Action. What's up TIA crew members? Today we're going to talk a little bit about a Husky. I think we talked about this in the tool talk, we but did. there's a lot more accessories that go along with it we're going to talk about today. Um, first we're going to talk about the compressor, then we're going to talk about the accessories. So okay. what's so special about this compressor? Uh, more usable air. I mean this is a four gallon tank. Um, what it has is what is up to three times more usable air, which means what? Probably higher PSI, I'm assuming. PSI, CF, you know, what is it, SCFM or something? Yeah. Like? I think it's like 5, what is it, 5.2 CFM? Wow, that's the, pretty good, but probably, what, know. 225 CFI or 225 PSI? I don't know, let's crank it on and see. PSI, CSI. C <laughs> FBI. People are watching, like, whoa, what's the trend? Yeah. Like, what's going on? No, you guys. Uh, Husky's really starting to make the mark in their compressors, you know. Um, obviously, Husky's made compressors for a long time, yeah. but they're really starting to, you know, get with it and really bring a lot of features to their compressors. So this is, you know, this thing is run three nailers, you know. Mm -hmm. It says right on the front, it'll run three nailers. But 225 PSI, which, you know, most compressors are only like 125 PSI. Yeah. And what'd you say, 5 CFM? I think it's like 5.2. 5.1 CFM. That's pretty good. At 90 PSI, that's yeah, pretty good. That's, really good. that's going to keep your nailers going. You know, a lot of stuff needs high CFM. It does. You know, uh, to run. And the cool thing about this is, is it's, you know, portable. You can pick it up with one hand. It's quiet. It's not the quietest out there, but it is quiet. I'll run it real fast. <laughs> So the cool thing is, is if you're running one nailer, it's not going to run as much mm -hmm. as a normal one. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, and at, price points are always good on these Huskies. And we're not going to talk about price because it could be on sale when you look at it and then we're going to get yelled at by you guys. Exactly. Um, assembled in the United States with global components. So it's a start. It's good we're seeing that. Yeah, a couple of things. I like it's got a cord uh, management system so you can wrap the uh, power cord around. Quick, two quick uh, connect couplers right here. Uh, the uh, adjustable PSI. Adjustable, yeah, it's, it's a nice big knob, so it's not like you're trying to fiddle with this little knob. Even the drain valve down here, it, I've seen ones where they got screws and they're always a pain. This one's got a nice red knob, it's easy to turn. So, and you love big knobs. Well, no, I, I do. Like, you know, when you got gloves and stuff like that, yeah, no, I mean, no, no, you're no. trying to mess around with it. It's, you know, I hate when you, they put this little cheap Chinese junk on there, you know. Yeah, big, easy to read gauges, you guys. You know, it's a decent. You know, it's a good compressor. I'm not going to say decent. It's mm. a good compressor. I would definitely recommend it, you know, at the Home Depot. It's available at Home Depot. So if you ever have a problem with it, you can just go back to Home Depot. They'll take care of you on it. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, accessories. accessories. Now, before we get into accessories, um, whenever you buy a compressor or hose, it never comes with the right male, female attachments. You're always going back to shop around to get the right ones. Huskies come along. We got a 20-piece uh, accessory kit, which comes with... I mean, like Dan said, you got the male, the female stuff on there. You've got the needles for, you know. Blow gun for blow blowing guns. up stuff. Tire pressure, pressure gauge it has the uh, tape on there. Yeah, which is cool because you don't have to get that separate. And everybody knows you don't put Teflon tape, you're going to have leaking air. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, it's just good to have an entire kit that you can buy. Buy that and you guys are set for life. Especially you garage guys that, you know, just want something filling up your kids' toys. Personally, yeah. I'm, I don't use compressors that much, but this guy uses it all the time. Why? Every day I got two kids, man, and they've got anything from basketballs, footballs, rafts, floaties, everything that takes air. Every day they're coming out to me, hey, Dad, can you fill this up? And it's a constant thing. And between this thing and then the Royal B handheld, I mean, I'm constantly using those two things. Didn't you say that one of them the other day tried to disconnect and something dangerous happened? Yeah, the, it wasn't on. He didn't try to disconnect, but he just went to go spray his brother with the, like, the air and all that, and this wasn't attached all the way. And I think when I put it on there, I didn't like attach it all the way on. Right, there, so. and it shot off. Yeah. So it that's came dangerous. Off, yeah. Anybody that knows, especially when you're dealing with 225 psi, when you go to eject, there's a, you know, um, what am I going to say? A violent explosion. I mean, a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's just you expect it to be violent, and it's. Psh, but yeah. sometimes you're like, psh, what the heck just happened? Yep. So they've come out with these new couplers, you guys. They're called. Um, what are they called, Eric? Push connect couplers. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, basically, what they are, you guys, is just regular normal couplers, but they have a two-stage release. So to do the initial uh, disconnect, I'm just going to push it, and you get a click right there. And then you push it again, and it comes off. So again, we'll show you that. So you push in. It's in there. Push it. Disconnected the air. It's still locked. I'll push it one more time, and it comes off. So it's basically going to capture the tool from shooting off and going anywhere. It's a nice safety feature. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a nice safety feature, I mean, especially for someone around the house, someone that's not used to compressors and stuff like yeah. that. So again, 
I mean, I think it's pretty cool. That's a cool idea. You know, especially if you're around kids. Now yeah. you could say, hey, Trevor, go unhook this. And he could just push it. Yeah. Push it okay, again. Put it back together. You know, and even when you push it in, there's two clicks. Watch. Click one, clicks the tool in, no air. Click two, air. So then when I click it out, no air, the air, so the tool safely disconnects. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get these in male or female, you know, pretty cool. Universal couplers. Definitely uh, it eliminates blowback, they call it. I don't know. I definitely think that's a cool idea. That's cool. And they also have an inline regulator, you guys. We didn't install this because our compressor actually has a regulator on it. But if you need an inline regulator, especially if you're constantly adjusting the pressure at near the end of the tool, this might be something you want to put in there. Yeah, you've got a hundred foot hose or something like that. You're taking it out instead of coming back to the compressor. Yeah, you can or just you're do on a right roof. Right or, you yeah, know, you're exactly. doing yeah, I mean, there you go. I don't really know what applications, you know, but it's just good to have the controls. Basically, it takes the controls away from the compressor and it puts it on the tool right next yeah. to the tool um it can adjust from uh uh 40 to 140 psi so pretty cool very cool things man yeah nice good stuff you guys what do you guys think the thing we like about husky is this home depot it's readily available there's a home depot on every corner so definitely you know you can go and for the price it's good quality stuff yeah and know. i mean they even have this hose here this nice flexible hose what do we know about this hose eric it's blue no, are you yeah, kidding? I thought it was This is a quarter inch. Um, now I don't, I'm sure they come in different lengths and stuff like that. It, it's, you know, I don't know what it will go down to negative-wise, but it's, you know, it's not the top-of-the-line cold-weather one, but it's also not the bottom-of-the-line cold-weather ones where you have ones where they just stay all... You ever taking out like an air hose when it's cold out and no, you can't even move or do anything? I like these thin ones because they're just yeah. easy to wrap up, easy to put away. You don't need a huge clunky, exactly. you know, reel or anything like that. Yep. Um, definitely good stuff, you guys. Check it out. What do you guys think? Comment below, go to your local Home Depot, see these things on display. Um, you know, I mean, it's definitely a powerhouse for what it is. Yeah, 225 cool. CF, or, uh, PSI is pretty high. Tools in Action, hashtag TA crew, you guys. Uh, don't forget to go over to the Power Tool Forum over at toolsinaction.com because that's where the cool people hang. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.